Hi, I'm Peter. As each one and Seb mentioned, we are rolling out a refresh of our user interface in the coming weeks. So let me take some time to walk you through why we are doing that and what it is that you can expect. CAD is difficult. While you are designing something that would be manufactured, you need to solve thousands of engineering challenges and think about tons of design problems. But complexity is not a problem by itself. Engineers and designers have been solving hugely complex issues since these professions have been around. But there is complexity and there is overhead. And we want to make sure that while you are designing your objects, you can focus on the engineering problems and the design issues instead of fighting with the CAD tool that you are using. Now, that has been our approach since the very beginning when we released Shaper as an iPad-only application with direct modeling capabilities. And now it is time to take it even further and create a CAD application that is available both on mobile and desktop platforms has direct modeling capabilities and history-based parametric modeling capabilities, visualization, engineering drawings, and many more features that we'd be adding over the coming months and years. So let me show you how it will look like. One of our most important tools to deal with that complexity is the adaptive UI. Our approach is that instead of overwhelming you with irrelevant choices, always focus on what you need and what could be your design intent at that given point in time and present you with the options that are relevant for you at that given point in time. And we are keeping that. It got its dedicated section on the left hand side of screen. We are also making sure that your design is front and center and the menu is not getting in the way. On desktop platforms, we are automatically hiding the labels when they are not used but reveal them as you move your pointer closer to that. On tablets, where hovering is not that common, we'll display the labels automatically all the time. And of course, in the settings, you have the option to turn them on and off permanently. There are other tools that are important during modeling, apart from the ones that change your geometry. We group them into their own sections that we call the mold island. They include section views, isolate, and the measure tool. With those, you can very easily, well, isolate your models, switch to view a section view of your design, or turn measurements on and off. Design projects consist of a lot more than just 3D models. You want to create visualizations and engineering drawings about the different parts for different use cases. With the project sidebar, we created a unified place to access all of those different functions. It starts with this icon in the top left corner. It brings up the sidebar, allowing you to choose between these different options. You can quickly switch to visualization, switch back to modeling, or switch to one of the drawings. And this UI refresh comes with a set of gorgeous new icons. We updated them to be more visible, even on smaller screens. The lines are thicker and we are using more shapes than lines to differentiate them better from the background and from your designs as well. And we believe that these new icons fit pretty well on Windows, iPad and Mac OS into the operating system itself. We'll be rolling out these changes across all platforms over the coming weeks. We really hope you'll like them. But let us know what you think in the comments under the video. Take care. Bye.